Okay, I'm here with the Solska, Solska, Solska sisters, sorry, <laughs> and Tristan Risk um, from American Mary. Now, I got to ask you guys, um, your first film was Dead Hooker in a Trunk, right? Yes. Okay. And what was the budget on that film? And, and I, from what I know, you guys were very influenced by um, Rebel Without a Crew by Robert Rodriguez and kind of used that as a, as a Bible in terms of making a film. Um, so can you give us a little bit? Of, it uh, cost $2,500, one grand for prosthetics, and the rest was like pizza and cops being paid off. And actors and stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I believe El Mariachi was seven grand. I heard it was much more after the fact, after the Weinsteins picked it up. So. Yeah, they had to do a bunch of sound posts on it. I was uh, trying to beat seven grand. If I knew I had to beat like 200 grand, it would be different. Right. <laughs> and how did, how did American Mary come out of all of that? It came out of a lie. We lied to Eli Roth, who was support so nice. He was supporting us during Dead Hooker in a Trunk, and he's like, and he knew we were struggling. He's like, well, focus on your next script. And I didn't have the balls to tell him that there was no script. So I was like, you know what? You pick which script you want to read. There's so many. And he picked the one about the medical student. And we're like, oh, fuck. Well, if there's any uh, spelling mistakes, I would be so embarrassed. So let me send it over to you in two weeks. And I look over at Jen, and I'm like, we need a script about a medical student in two fucking weeks. Thankfully, we're actually really fascinated by a body modification, not to the point that we ever thought we'd make a film about it, but we really like the underdog and the body mod community is really excommunicated for no good reason. They're villainized and we wanted to show the true side of what the body mod community is like. And how was that for you? Because you play, you, the makeup prosthetics on you were, I mean there was a lot. What was that process like for you and in, in, in terms of portraying that on screen? I didn't do bugger all. I just sat there and let the makeup artists do what they do to me and then I just put on the voice and then I put on the wig and then I get a cute little wiggle and I read the clever words that Jen and Sylvia wrote and it was just, it happened. It was really easy. Well, it was, an, it was a great movie. Oh, and um, you. Do you have any, the one last question, do you have any advice for like upcoming filmmakers in terms of getting films together and done and like getting distribution and stuff like that? Absolutely. Uh, make a film that you can afford to make. Don't write a $50 million space saga and write it fucking now. Do it immediately. Learn about camera angles. Watch DVD commentaries. You can even tweet your favorite directors. But don't sit on your ass and wait for somebody to make it happen for you because it's never going to fucking happen. And stay the fuck out of film school. My God, absolutely. Please do not waste money on fucking film school. Yes, I'll agree with that because I wasted a lot of money on film oh, school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, do not yeah. go to film school. And it's not just us. Quentin said it. And I was like, oh, what does he know? A lot. He yes. knows a fucking lot. And make your own fucking movie. Make it for absolutely nothing. Showcase everything that you can do. And that way they will give you a budget because they're like, wow, you can make a $2,500 movie and make it go global? That's awesome. Okay, so and what's coming next from you guys? Well, we're going to be doing a segment in the ABCs of Death 2, which we're super stoked awesome. about. Awesome. And we also just announced that we're doing See No Evil 2, which we're in production for. Obviously, since we're at Fan Expo, we are working on another film. That's <laughs> great. Thank you guys for all for taking the time to talk to us. We really appreciate it. I know you got a plane to catch. So totally. Thank back to Vancouver. You. Yes, right? back to Vancouver. We're actually right. filming something and then we're going back to Vancouver. Oh cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies.